Hey what is up guys, my name is Kev5 and welcome to a new different type of plugin tutorial, uh, more of a server tutorial you could say. Today we're going to be showing you how to optimize your server through the spigot server type in order to allow your server to overall run better. Now we're not going to be going through every option that spigot offers, but we will go through a bunch of priority settings I believe you should change if you want to increase the performance of your server. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that Spigot is installed onto your server. In this case, I have Spigot 1.11. Uh, of course, you can run any version of Spigot to do this. As long as you're running Spigot or Paper Spigot, you will be able to do this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our Spigot.yml. This is found within the FTP of your server. And there are a few settings that you can change Let's go down. Things such as entity tracking range and entity activation range, you can actually lower these. Um, if your server isn't dependent on survival, it's actually recommended because players won't have a priority of these mobs coming after them at a certain amount of blocks. So if we wanted to help reduce the lag a little, we could change these to like 32, 32, and something like 26. You know, overall, just lowering the, the amount slightly helps it out. Uh, you can also change this ticks per. So say someone has a huge hopper farm for cactus, melons, anything. Uh, this is how fast the hoppers can transfer items to a chest or another hopper. So if you want to help reduce lag on your server, for if you have a lot of hoppers on your server, I recommend changing this to something like five or four. It does slow down the rate at which hoppers transfer, which may upset your players, but overall it will help your server if you have a lot of hoppers on it. The next thing we're going to go over is the item despawn rate. So this is how long an item is sitting on the ground before it despawns. I actually recommend lowering this. Of course, don't lower it too much. You want players items to stay there long enough that they can come back and get them but they don't have to be sitting there for the whole 6,000 ticks. I like to lower it to something like 5,000, 4,500 is always decent too. Uh, and then for arrow despawn rate, I really feel like arrows just don't matter too much, especially if you're on a like prison server or something else. So I like to change that to 600. Of course, it's personal preference. It's all based on ticks. Now we're going to look at view distance. Now for view distance, I actually recommend that you keep it the way it is. You can change it to 4 if you want to help reduce some lag on your server. This does affect how entities spawn and everything else. So use a, change it as your discretion. If you feel like performance needs you to change it, then you can change it. So guys, that is basically a just of how you optimize the server through your spigot.yml on the spigot server type. A few more recommendations I'd recommend to help with server lag include the clear lag plugin. This plugin actually helps to clear entities at the same way the spigot.yml does. However, it also allows you to unload chunks and more. Clear lag has been really good. I've been using it for years now and it really does help your server out. Another plugin I'd recommend, and you do not need to use this plugin because the 1.8 and above, I believe it's 1.8 and above, did implement a world border already. So you can just do slash world border and you can make your own world border that way. But if you're running, you know, a server and you just want this plugin, make it easier. Uh, this does, I believe, allow you to remove the world border as the Minecraft commands don't. Uh, so I'm going to leave both of these plugins in the description below. Try them out if you'd like. Uh, I do think that this will help your server if it's lagging. Spigot's always done really well with how it handles lag. It's optimized to run extremely well with plugins and it's optimized to run extremely well on Minecraft. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this maybe persuades you to check out Spigot if you're using something like Craft Bucket because while Craft Bucket is great, it does not have all the optimizations that Spigot does. Uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and end this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're new and you enjoy my content, subscribe. And as always, have a great day.